This is my inventory. Damn near spotless. Buffs that I may need here or there, cordials, repair materials, glam prisms, the usual stuff. I usually also keep bait here for when I am fishing actively, but that's rarely ever more than 15 slots total. So barren, so expertly sorted, that I can manually sort so all new items that appear in my inventory appear in the top left. I don't need to worry about what's new, where something is, I just need to look in this spot. My Chocobo saddlebag acts as a storage for a few odds and ends, primal tokens, hunt crystals for materia, and my weapon collection that will need to start being transferred to a retainer next expansion. Within this clip, there are 23 items in my inventory. When Endwalker launches, this may even be dropped to below 20 items. And in case it needs to be said, my armory chest has no wasted space either. My retainers are in a similar state. There's a few items here or there that I don't have a lot of items for. The second page has some items for potential reaper weapon. And the final page, a ton of fireworks from a previous event. And all my Bogia currency, for if I ever want to buy items from there for glamour. This still leaves me with 100 inventory slots on this retainer alone. My second retainer is my Materia retainer. Old main stat Materia sells very slow, but I've been selling it off here and there. Eventually those slots will open back up to me. Then I can sell off any other Materias I don't need. The last page has only three fish and a lalafell for making chat jokes. This still only uses half the space. My final retainer is mostly odds and ends. Crab bow materials for when I was in the crab bow market. I'll probably sell the rest of this off just to clean the room. A couple gear pieces for selling to my grand company when Endwalker launches. More Bogia stuff. I might move to the first retainer. Craft delineations and deep dungeon potions. Bait for big fishing. Cheese I'll likely start randomly giving away because it sells for nothing. Same for the vinegar and a few items on the bottom that do sell really well, but often gets used in even late stage furniture crafting. An empty second page, and Ishgardian Firmament Fate Rewards filling this last page. Perhaps to sell when fates end, all these different items... still only 57 slots filled. I mentioned glamour for a moment, I don't change up my glamours too often, but I also don't really throw out anything I might want to use. Granted, I'm using a male character and most people say it's not enough space for female characters, but I haven't even used half the space in my glamour dresser. Now let me show you a trick. Presto! I've made the crafting list disappear entirely. Every single recipe in the game, every 1 to 80 craft, every housing item that can be marked as completed, has been crafted. How many of you have even done a fraction of this? How many of you have the materials for most of these items just sitting around in your inventory, not being used? And I even am always actively selling stuff. It's not all just clean space. I'm reduced on the scale due to Endwalker and wanting to be able to sell during the expansion, but I'm always selling materials. Crafted items, more. Do you want more space? Do you want to make money? If yes to either, follow these tips I'm going to lay out. Let's start with the paring down your inventory. Let's look at bat fangs as a prime example of something I've seen a lot of people ask for if they should keep in the game. Two major red flags for you to really consider your life choices here. The first is if you try to sell it on the market board. Some people actively sell these for one gill on the market. If you ever need bat fangs, the market has them for extremely cheap. The second is this little thing that says shop selling price. For the one time you actually do need bat fangs, you could just go to more than one of the crafting guilds and talk to the guild supplier. They sell them for a pittance, and you never need more than a few. Holding on to these super cheap, 
super easy to obtain items is just wasting space, especially when most items up to level 15 are buyable in guild shops or other random shops around the main towns. If these bat wings you refuse to get rid of are so important to you, why don't you just fly to Mordor? Let's look at Electrum Ore next. This you do need to gather. It's a mid-level gathering item and no shops sell it. However, look at what Electrum ingots require. Four Electrum. So if you say have three Electrum sitting around, why not just sell it off? You can probably sell off a bunch of materials like this. Three of it isn't going to get you anywhere, and if you need to go gather some, it takes literal seconds to gain three of them. You already need to teleport to gather? You already lost the teleport fee? Why are you going to gather one ore for a single ingot? On top of that, there was a light fib. You don't need to gather it. Make your retainer do it. With a cleaner inventory, you can clutter it up with greeting on dungeon drops and selling them to your grand company. This transfers into a lot of ventures for constantly sending out your retainers. You'll never run out doing this. I mean, I guess you could run out of tens of thousands of ventures. Eventually. And if your retainers aren't full up on their selling spots, don't even try to use the excuse of it only sells for 1k gil or something like that. I didn't get rich from only selling big ticket items. Small ticket items add up fast, especially when you're cleaning out a lot of inventory. Not like most things have a shelf life or anything, just send it out. When selling, constantly check your prices. Anytime you're passing by a bell, take the chance to look and adjust your pricing. I always aim to post for round numbers, and otherwise try not to undercut people by a lot. Everyone can win if everything gets posted at the same price. And if you keep undercutting a ton of gill at a time, you end up losing out on a ton of gill for yourself, too. Or if you're really confident, you can buy out your competition and hope they just don't notice. Then you can control the market and make all the profits for yourself. Just be careful where you throw your money around, and it's a tactic you really only try if you've been undercut by 50% or more, or already have a huge gill stockpile. For the completed materials you do have, start using them to make stuff. Completion of the crafting log is a great way to both use materials that you weren't going to use anyway, and make a bit of money. Stuff sells through all the levels a little at a time. Lots of people don't realize buying gear off the market is a bad idea outside of level cap, but it will eventually sell, especially housing items. Which also, speaking of making things, just make leave turn-ins yourself if you're leveling. You don't need to spend millions of gil to level up. Gather the materials, level your gatherers at the same time, and then craft the stuff, turn it in, and get the EXP. Crafting and gathering is a way to make money, not lose it. You're either doing it wrong, or already have a lot of money to burn. Eventually, you'll be down to odds and ends to sell off, or to keep for starting entirely new craft projects. And because you've cleaned up a bunch of inventory, you're free to do so. You have the space, and you're not constrained by the minimal room. Or you could just keep selling off what you have and coast on the guild that affords you. If you need more, start a crafting project. If that's enough, just keep selling off what you have. And that goes for you players who don't have a hoarding problem and want to make guild too. It's not that much work to level crafts and gatherers. Tons of ways to level, not entirely terrible to get done, and costs very little guild if you put in the work yourself. You don't need to be level capped to start earning a profit. Getting into crafting can be hard to understand, and not everyone feels gathering is fun, but they've made it super fast to power through the levels. Leaves, Firmament, Normal Grinding, Grand Company Turn-Ins, and so much more. You'll be level cap very quickly, learning the ins and outs, 
And you don't even have to know a whole lot to make housing items. They don't even have high quality versions. So not only do you not have to be level cap, but you're gonna get there extremely quickly anyway. And you don't even need to do any of this to make lots of money either. Just play the game. Roulette, challenge log, new content things, deep dungeons, so many places. You can earn gil super easy just by playing and not forcing yourself to stay in one content type. Expand your horizons, the money will flow. Meanwhile, while you're doing that, there's no sense holding on to a ton of random items for if you get into crafting. Either make the leap or don't and just get rid of the items. And if you are a crafter, why are the materials going to waste? Use them, make some money out of it. Otherwise, it's literally just a burden. Let's look one more time at my first retainer. This is all random materials that might be useful in Endwalker. At most, I would store up to 99 on each intermediate material from each crafter of each material in Shadowbringers. That would still only take up about this much space, one whole page, maybe a little more. There's 5 to 10 materials per crafter that you'd want to keep on hand for next expansion. And you generally don't need more than just the previous expansion's items. Maybe some Dark Steel Nuggets and Rose Gold Nuggets from A Realm Reborn, since those tend to get used now and then? Or something like Rubber for All Shoes. If I can't use them, I just sell them off immediately when I can afford the space on the market. If I can use them, well, they'll get sorted into a new page of the new resources and materials as something I do need for crafting. And then again, retainers is a great way to get items. Gold is an unspoiled node item, yet your retainer can gather you some no matter what you do, and while you gather the more plentiful items you need. You shouldn't fear throwing out so many items because you can just send your retainer to fix it when you do need them. Yes, it takes time, but so does sorting your inventory over and over. So does gathering the rest of the materials you need for a craft. Time you're worried about saving is time you can turn into gill, and time you're wasting trying to find room for stuff you actually need. I don't know if you're watching this, Xan, but you almost losing your unending coil totem from a full inventory shouldn't be normal. Retainers in themselves can be worth tons of money. The minions they bring back can sell for big bucks. The day they released the Mamashiba minion into the game, I sent my retainers out to get it. The next day, I was 30 million gil richer. Yes, that's right, a single minion I sold for 30 million gil. They're still worth a little bit of gil on the market, currently 70k as of looking, but I got lucky once and managed to have enough gil to buy and furnish a medium house. That was back in Stormblood, and then it happened again here in Shadowbringers for a second time with the Dowarda getting me a 50 million gil mount. Yes, 50 million gil for a single mount. And there's tons of things like this, some that are even available to low level players. The firmament does need progress almost to the end of Heaven's Word, and yet even barely having started crafting could earn you millions from Ishgardian scripts and Kupo tickets. You don't need to be super duper lucky, you just need to expand your horizons and the luck will come naturally. Maybe in Endwalk I should do an inventory workshop, send in your inventories and your levels and I tell you how to fix your inventory, I don't know, maybe a plan for later, but I do feel like I could show most of you what you're doing wrong just by looking at how much hoarding you may be doing. But for now, let's just sum it all up. Start using or getting rid of all those materials you aren't ever going to use. If you want a simple way to make money, start completing the crafting log. Otherwise, just play the game. The game gives you so much money just from playing. Oh, and as a tip for not spending tons of money, just wait. Have patience. That 15 million gil gland that came out today, in a week it'll be 1.5 mil or less. Mama Shiba on day one 
was 30 million gil. If they waited a week, they could have got it for like 1 mil, probably way less. And here's a note for all you free trial players. You're probably looking for ways to spend money, not make it. 300k is a low gil cap, but these steps can still apply to you in a way. Use all those items clogging your inventory, or get rid of them. You need to keep some of your space taken up by materials. But hey, your chocobo can be your crafter bag in the meantime. Put materials in the choco bag, take them out when you need to do some crafting. But you gain flight from the story! Those bat wings are not needed! Thank you for watching my little take on inventory and making some money. There's a ton of videos out there that talk about ways to make money, and I didn't want to just repeat all that stuff, so I just went simple and honest. This is how I play. This is how I get money. I don't at all make any effort to get money. It just comes to me. I play, and anything I want to buy, I usually could just get myself no problem in most cases. So what little I do have to buy, it just keeps piling up. Just play, enjoy yourself, have fun, and don't rush to try and get everything you want now. But hopefully this all gives you a few ideas to clean the inventories out, at a minimum. Take care and may the power of Ananid Hogsley waste to your enemies. And an extra special thanks to all my patrons over on Patreon. And an extra extra special thanks to... Amen al Khatib, Ben Abigurn, Benjamin Han, Sadir Dio Sasan, Crikey, mate. Ethan, Ethan Olsen, Jericho, Kevin Lowe, Kyle Steinhauser, Marlon Sebo, Mizella, Paxton Lancaster, Scott Stanley, T Rogue, Ticklefinger, and Valor LLC. Thank you all for watching. Thank you for your support so very much. And I'll see you next time.